check out what the cat dragged in. This panel proposes harnessing energy by releasing an object through a big hole that goes to the other side of the planet, oscillating endlessly to generate energy. Well, this isn't so strange to hear, because the Soviets actually tried something similar. They started digging in an effort to reach the Earth's mantle. After 24 years, they managed to reach 12.2 kilometers, which is impressive but only represents about 0.2% of the way to Earth's center. They eventually threw in the towel because the temperatures got really hot that equipment started melting. Even so, doing stuff like that is frightening because it risks destabilizing the planet's structure, potentially leading to cataclysmic disasters. Alright, let's get down to business and try to implement this idea. The Soviets managed to dig 12 kilometers. Maybe with combined efforts today we could double that, but that's pushing it. So for the sake of the argument, let's imagine we stumble by chance into a natural occurring hole that goes clean through to the other side of the planet. Disregarding the extreme temperatures, Coriolis forces, friction, high pressures and all the technical issues, theoretically, if we send an object through the hole, it will initially accelerate reaching insane speeds. Gravity actually decreases the more we go down until it reaches Earth's core where it becomes zero, because the mass is evenly distributed in all directions, meaning there is no net gravitational force at the center. When the object enters it, it will slow down for a split second before launching towards the opposite surface until it reaches the far end. That is where its kinetic energy will become equal to zero and gravity will send it back to the center and into the other side. And like this, it will oscillate up and down forever. But that is a dream scenario because if we account for friction alone, the object's potential energy would gradually dissipate. It would oscillate back and forth traveling less each time like a pendulum winding down. Eventually, it will rest at the center of the earth and there it will remain. Generating energy from the ideal scenario by sending an object attached to a generator is possible, but only for a limited time because the generator will intervene with the process by consuming the kinetic energy which would eventually make the object stay at the center. We could send more objects, sure, but eventually the core will be filled with junk and we will have to pull them up, spending almost as much energy as we gained. At the end, just remember that the ideal scenario is pure fantasy, because said object would melt or be crushed by pressure long before reaching the center. Also, we can't dig such a hole, and even if we could, we shouldn't.